gradually you've heard more and more about what the government thinks or what the government should be doing and less and less about our nation's hopes our dreams and our vision of the future it is perfectly idle to talk of doing things when your hands are tied for you so long as the men who now control the industry of the country continue to control it It must be clear to everyone that the United States cannot and will not sit idly by and await foreign conquest. The only question is, when is the best time to meet the threat and how is the best time to meet it? Until we can reestablish a condition under which the earnings of the people can be kept by the people, we are bound to suffer a very severe and distinct curtailment of our liberty. The Republican Party has ever been the party of constructive action. It will support the new administration in every measure which will protect, will promote public welfare. It must and will be vigilant in opposing those which are harmful. Today, through our economic difficulties, do not approach the emergency of 1933. The message from the American people is exactly the same. I trust that you are getting the very same message that I am receiving. Our constituents want leadership. Our constituents want action. Now it is a struggle to preserve the financial honor of the government. Our greed embraces an honest dollar, an unpunished national credit, adequate revenues for the uses of the government, protection to labor and industry, preservation of the home market, and reciprocity which will extend our foreign market. But if in applying to present-day social conditions the general prohibitions that were intended originally as safeguards to the citizen against the arbitrary power of government in the hands of caste and privilege, these prohibitions have been turned by the courts from safeguards against political and social privilege into barriers against political and social justice and advancement. The settlement of the Czechoslovakian problem which has now been achieved is, in my view, only the prelude to a larger settlement in which all Europe may find peace. Speaking of family life, I think it's very interesting to see how one of the things that happens in families is a proof of the need, of the need for storytelling in the world because we are what I call storytelling animals. You know, as, far, as, far as, I, as far as one can tell, there is no other species on the planet that uses the act of telling a story in order to understand something about themselves. I do dimly perceive that whilst everything around me is ever changing, ever dying, there is underlying all that change a living power that is changeless, that holds all together that creates, dissolves, and recreates.